Lindsay Robillard. I am the co-treasurer of the Detroit Theater Organ Society, which calls the Senate Theater home. Detroit Theater Organ Society, back then it was called the club, um, saved the Fisher Theater's original Wurlitzer pipe organ, the one I'm sitting on, from being thrown in the trash when the Fisher Theater was remodeled for Broadway plays in uh, 1961. The Senate had holes in the ceiling, water in the basement, no chairs, so they purchased the Senate Theater to provide a permanent home for this one-of-a-kind musical instrument. Hi, I'm Tess. I'm a volunteer here at the Senate Theater. I live in southwest Detroit and I'm happy to be part of this gem. I got involved because I came to see a movie and there was an advertisement before it. I think the movie I saw was uh, Metropolis. We tend to do that every couple of years and it was one I really wanted to see. And then they had an advertisement saying, learn how to do projection, learn how to, you know, help out at our concession stand, volunteer with the Senate. My husband and I came, I think, first for Metropolis because I'd never seen it before and was like, oh, that's a, like a movie I'm supposed to have seen. And then we came back for, I think a couple of times over the summer to just see like some science fiction movies, like Logan's Run. And I was like, we should put like our time where our interests lie. And like, maybe if we volunteer a bunch, they'll let us help pick the movies. So we're here in the Senate Theater's auditorium. When the theater was first built, I think there were around like 1,200 seats, maybe? Uh, and then when DTOS purchased it, they enclosed the backstage to hold most of the organ's pipes. And so we are not really set up for stage plays. Like originally this theater had like silent movies and vaudeville. Um, the original organ chambers are here and here and now they just mostly hold percussion instruments because that's all they would fit. The renovations that need to be done, the one that I would say we need more than anything is an ADA accessible bathroom, something on the first floor that people can use. Like Tess said um, long term like top of the wish list is fully accessible bathrooms which would be a major like infrastructure project but keep plugging leaks and playing movies and until we get there. So we call this the piano lab, the account of the, the baby grand. And that's where we have the merchandise and record counter. So there's a picture of the Fisher Theater's original interior, as well as the organ being built on the factory floor in upstate New York. I like it a lot when we do collaborations with other groups in the area. Like we started working recently with Cinema Lamont. They've sponsored a couple of different things. We've also had the animation festival here. I think we're all stronger together, so to have everybody work together is really cool. In terms of silent movies, there's one I really want to play that was actually shot and filmed in Detroit by uh, an African-American filmmaker in the late 20s, I think came out in 28, called 11 p.m. And that's something we have been working towards playing. About, you know, we're still bouncing back from the pandemic, so I want to make sure enough people will be here to see it. 